Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're on here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. And today, Devil May Cry's Dante invades the new world. Yes, the Devil May Cry crossover DLC is finally here. So if you want to get that stylishly sweet looking gear, now is the time to do it. I mean, at least for the next week or so, because usually these events stay around for about a week. I'm not exactly sure how long this particular one's going to stay, but. Once it's gone, it's going to be a while until it comes back. So if you want to get this, try to get this now. You're going to need to have at least Hunter Rank 14, which means you need to at least be done with the main story. If you're not, like I said, don't worry about it. Eventually, this is going to come back around. You will have more opportunities to get this gear. But anyway, continuing onwards, how do you do this? Well, go to any of the quest boards in the game or speak with your handler. Go to Post New Quest. Once there, scroll down to Events and look for a quest called Code Red. Now, this quest consists of you hunting down an Anjanath, Odogaron, Rathalos, and Teostra. There's a special twist to the quest, though, which is the fact that all of these monsters are enraged 100% of the time, which is going to make them a little bit more challenging than you might be used to. Like, they're going to be moving faster, they're going to be more aggressive. So, you know, pay attention when you go in there. Don't just think that this is another one of those events that you don't really have to work your ass off to get some sweet gear or anything you do have to do a little bit of work at least to get uh, all of the gear available in this set however you now you might be asking how many uh of the special items do i need in order to craft everything that is available to me well the special item itself is called a red orb and you're going to need seven of them to craft everything that is one red orb per piece of gear and two red orbs for the sword making it like i said seven red orbs anyway let's take a look at the gear while you guys watch some gameplay in the background of me beating the crap out of all these monsters as dante and the gear is dante's devil sword that right there is a charge blade it is rarity eight which means you can only augment it once and you need a hero streamstone axe if you want to augment this particular weapon and it comes in with 720 attack damage and it also has a nice chunk of blue sharpness you cannot get it into white sharpness so in my opinion handicraft is not particularly useful if you plan on using this weapon it has neutral affinity so you can go for a crit build if that is something that you want to and you're not going to have to compensate for the negative affinity which it could have had uh, the element on this sword is thunder. It's got 150 thunder damage on it, but you don't really have to focus that much on the element because the files themselves are impact files. And for those of you that do not know, impact files do KO damage if you hit monsters on the head. So skills like slugger can increase that. And they also deal exhaust damage if you hit monsters on their body. Therefore, stamina drain can also be used. But most importantly, you should definitely use artillery if you want to max out file damage because impact files are affected by artillery, unlike power element files. Anyway, moving on from the sword, it also has uh, two level one slots if, uh, if you want to put some skills in there as well. Moving on from that, we got Dante's hair. Uh, and that is the reason why I actually shaved my character so that he looks a little bit more like Dante. But yes, Dante's hair is essentially like a helmet. Uh, and the skills that you get with that is weakness exploit level one and critical eye level one, which is pretty friggin' sweet in my opinion. There were definitely not enough pieces of gear that had critical eye. Uh, at least further down into the tree. And by the way, Dante's armor set is all alpha and you only get one. There's no alpha and beta. It's everything is alpha. So there's no alternatives to the stuff that I'm going to show you here. Anyway, moving onwards, we got Dante's coat. And in Dante's coat, you got a level three decoration slot. You can put whatever you want in there. And then we got evade window level one and critical eye level one. Now, when it comes to the evade window skill i'm not a huge fan of evade window for a charge blade because you can block but it just means that you can use this particular set with other weapons as you guys will see in just a few seconds here moving on to the gloves we got dante's gloves alpha which also come in with evade window and special ammo boost which naturally means that this is also to make the set viable if you want to use um a ranged weapon with it you're going to be able to get uh, the special ammo boost in there, which is pretty sweet if you're using ranged weapons. If not, there is still a tier 3 decoration slot, so it's not going to hurt you too much if you want to cosplay as Dante and not use a ranged weapon. It's not a big deal. Now we got Dante's belt, also coming in with another level 3 decoration slot. 
uh, as well as another point into Evade Window and Latent Power. Now, Latent Power, for those of you guys that don't remember, is the skill where you get increased affinity as well as reduced stamina usage whenever you have been fighting a monster for five or more minutes or you've taken 180 damage. So... It's not a skill that I personally tend to dip into that much, but it's not useless either. Anyway, moving on, we've got Dante's Leather Boots, and this is hands down when it comes to, like, meta and stuff like that. This is my favorite piece of gear from the Dante set, and that is because it comes in with two levels of weakness exploit, as well as two level one decoration slots. You guys are wondering, why is this one so important? Well, a lot of sets kind of go after that weakness exploit meta because it's just such a good skill. And in my opinion, we've only really had two real choices if you're making an endgame set when it comes to getting your weakness exploit off of armor pieces. You got the Kaiser Van Braces or you have the Dragon, uh, Dragon King Eye Patch, both of which can come with some significant weakness exploit as well as uh, a little bit of sockets or whatever. But basically, when you're getting weakness exploit other than through uh, gems, you're getting those two pieces of gear. Finally, we have a third option in there, which is going to be Dante's Leather Boots. And thank you very much for that. All in all, this is a pretty viable set, in my opinion. As a matter of fact, I would put this set up against any other full set in the game right now because it is that much viable. Uh, it is much more viable than the sets that we had from previous events, such as the Aloy set or the uh, Ryu set, which even though they were, you know, they're sets, you can make a character look like Ryu and Aloy, that's cool, but they're not really stuff that I would take into endgame. Now, the full set of Dante, on the other hand, I would not hesitate to pick that up and go out and slay some monsters. Now, naturally, mixed sets will always come out on top, but... This particular full set, I would put it up against anything else that you have in the game. Like, I'd put this up against the Nergigante set. I'd put this up against the Teostra set. Whatever you want, I'll put this set up against it and say, this is still a viable set. And it has a decent amount of decoration slots for you to customize and put in some stuff that you might want to have on this particular set. And the sword itself, the charge blade, is also extremely good without being overpowered because you can't really get white sharpness. It's got good damage. It doesn't have the best damage. So, you know, it is viable. It, it's an alternative to some of the other charge blades. And in my opinion, I am super excited about this particular set. So, guys, go get yours now because we don't know when the event might come back. So if you can do it now, my advice is do it now. If you can't, it's fine. It will eventually come back. It's just you probably have to wait a little bit longer. But get to doing do code red. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell icon thingy, and then click all so that you receive notifications for all of my videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.